Hey guys, it's iPod Touch Help 8 here, and I'm back with another great video. My new video is an untethered jailbreak for the firmwares 4.3 and 4.3.1. Hey guys, I'm back with another video, and this video is going to be on the 4.3.1 firmware jailbreak that is untethered, and it is done by the dev team blog, as you can see right there. Dev team takes all credit to this firmware jailbreak. It is a uh, very easy jailbreak used by uh, Red Snow. And I'll show you real quick that I'm doing the iPod Touch fourth generation. So you can see there's a camera on it. And I will show you that I am on firmware 4.3.1. There it is. That's what it's going to be jailbroken. And I'll show you real quick that I'm not jailbroken. See, there's no jailbreak apps on here at all. None. So that's awesome, guys. I will be jailbreaking the 4.3.1 firmware, and it'll be very fast, very easy, very quick. Now, you're going to go to this website, which I will have popping up about right here right now, and in the description if you need it. You can um, then go to this website and download the Red Snow, which is what jailbreaks this firmware and what you do is you scroll down a little bit and then it'll be in the middle of the page right there you'll be downloading the 9.6 RC12 I am late on this jailbreak so it is going to be a newer version of this jailbreak and it'll actually have better bug fixes and all that that's the first thing you need now you need a firmware for your device on your computer so you can put it in Red, so Red Snow so it knows what firmware you're actually jailbreaking and you're gonna go to this website which I'll have popping up right about here and also in the description and what you do you go to this website open up the dialog box and pick your firmware and then click download very simple very easy very quick now whenever you download this most of the time at least for me I got this I got a zip file that I couldn't unzip and have it correctly have all of the firmware in it now I found this problem and it's actually very easy to fix what you do hopefully you guys can see this is you go to the start menu right here and then you'll click on control panel and then when you get the control panel you'll click on the appearance and personalization right there and then once that opens up you click on folder options and then you'll get this dialog box to come up and what you're going to do is you're going to click view at the top and then you'll have the check mark down here that says hide extensions for known file types now what you're going to do it's it'll be like that for you so what you're going to do you're going to click it and uncheck it and then once it's unchecked you'll click apply Whoa, my bad guys. You'll click apply and OK. Now you'll have all the file extensions on your computer and you'll be able to see them. So then you click on the firmware and then click in the text and then change your text from .zip to .ipsw. And then you're going to click enter and then enter again and you will have the firmware right there. Very quick and easy tutorial on that now, isn't it, guys? So what you're going to do, you're going to open up Red Snow. Just like that. So now Red Snow is open. So what you're going to do, you're going to browse for your firmware, which I have on the desktop, which is where everybody should save it. And here it is, the 4.3.1 for the iPod Touch 4th generation. Click Open and let it find your firmware. Alright, successfully found. And you click next and you're gonna let that load real quick and uh, this is gonna be a very quick to uh, tutorial on how to jailbreak the 4.3.1 untethered can't beat it so now what you're gonna do you're gonna have install city checked and enable battery percentage checked and then you're gonna click next now this is telling me that this next page is telling me that I need to have my iPod turned off so I'll turn it off real quick and it must be connected to your computer via USB. So we're going to let that load and it is completely turned off now. So you're going to basically get ready 
for the next steps, which are going to be putting your device in a DFU mode. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to click next, and then you're going to hold the power button for three seconds. Then you're going to hold the power and the home button for ten seconds. As you can see, I'm doing it right here. And then, after ten seconds, you're going to hold just the home button, and you're going to let go of the power button. So we're going to wait for this to load. Hopefully it works. There we go. It connected. And we're going to zoom in so we can see what's happening on both of these devices. So yeah, guys, this is a very quick and easy jailbreak. And uh, this will be done really quick. It's rebooting. All right, so now it's done on the computer. So I'll just have the iPod in my hands. Let this load real quick. Once this is done loading, you'll have a jailbroken device. This jailbreak uh, jailbreaks the iPhone 3GS, the iPhone 4 GSM model, which I'm pretty ticked that I can't jailbreak my uh, iPhone 4 for Verizon, which kind of makes me mad. Um, and you, it jailbreaks the uh, iPod Touch 4th generation and I think that is it because they don't have any more updates for the newest uh, firmwares for the old iPod touches because it runs slow so uh, basically it's done and it's gonna reboot and then once it's rebooted you'll have a jailbroken device very quick and easy I think guys very nice jailbreak and it's untethered so you really can't beat that pretty awesome Oh, let's go. Uh, battery. So, you guys, if you have any questions, just leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you as quick as I can. Um, it's been a very easy jailbreak for 4.3.1 untethered jailbreak. Can't really complain about that. All right, let's go and see where Cydia is. Um... Oh, there it is. And if you get this white box, don't be alarmed. Click on it. It will come up still. And it will just prepare the file system and do its thing. That is a jailbroken device right there. Even though it was white on the, on the springboard, which happens sometimes. I mean, it's still Cydia. It doesn't have to have the Cydia icon. This is awesome, guys. 4.3.1 firmware jailbreak on the iPod Touch 4th generation. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Twitter. Link will be in the description.